everyone, I'm Raina Erasmus from the Retired Racehorse Project and I'm here with my OTTB Bourbon and today we're going to go over some of the do's and don'ts of your thoroughbred makeover application videos. Before we begin, let's go over the basic requirements for a thoroughbred makeover application video. The video should be no shorter than three minutes long and it should show you riding a well-schooled horse, we ask that you don't use your makeover prospect, at the walk, trot, canter or walk, jog, lope. If you are intending on jumping in the competition, we'll need to see you jump a course of two six or higher in these videos as well. Any other discipline, we'd like to see the special skill that goes along with that discipline. Later, we'll be joined by Kristen Bentley, who's going to provide us some tips on how to film your video if you don't have a ring or you don't have anyone to film it for you. It's also important to note that you don't need to take videos explicitly for this application. You're welcome to use videos from a show, from a lesson, or anything else that would meet the requirements and is relatively recent and of sufficient quality. Now that we've gone over the basic requirements for a thoroughbred makeover application video, let's go over the do's and don'ts. This example would not be sufficient for the flat work portion of your video because it is filmed vertically, it is too far away to see the rider, and it only shows the rider at one gate in one direction. We need to see the rider at the walk trot canner in both directions. This example would be sufficient for the flat portion of your video because it is filmed horizontally, the rider is clearly visible, and it demonstrates the walk trot and canter. Please note that this video is sped up and cut for the sake of time, but the video that you submit in your application should be shown at normal speed and provide examples of you at the walk, trot, and canter in both directions. This example would meet the requirements for the flat portion of an application video as well. It's filmed horizontally, the rider is clearly visible, and it demonstrates the walk, jog, lope, and transitions. This video also serves as a good example on how to take a video when you have no help on hand for filming. Kristen Bentley will get into the tips and tricks of this later. Please note that this example is cut and sped up for the sake of time, but the video that you submit to your application should be of longer format and in normal speed. This example would not meet the jump requirements of an application video because it is filmed vertically, it does not meet the 2-6 height requirement, and grid work is not sufficient. A full jump course is needed. Similarly to the previous example, this video would not meet the jump requirements because the jumps are not set at the 2-6 minimum and a line of jumps is not sufficient. Please provide a video of you jumping a full course. This example would meet the requirements for the jumping portion of your application video because it is filmed horizontally and the jumps meet the 2-6 or higher requirement. A full course of jumps is also shown. Please note that this video is sped up for the sake of time, but the video that you submit should be in normal speed and show an entire course. This example would meet the requirements for the discipline portion of an application video, as well as the flat portion of the application video. It is filmed horizontally, demonstrates the walk, trot, and canter, and demonstrates a discipline-specific skill. Please note that this dressage test is cut and sped up for the sake of time, but you would need to submit a full dressage test for your application. This example would also meet the requirements for the discipline portion and flat portion of the application video. It's filmed horizontally, shows the walk, jog, and lope, and demonstrates a discipline-specific skill. Please note that once again, this video is sped up and cut for the sake of time, but the video that you provide in your application should show the complete pattern. Hey guys, this is Kristen Bentley from the Retired Racehorse Project. I'm a 2018 veteran and this is my thoroughbred makeover horse from 2018, Jobber Bill. Um, as you can see behind me, there's a giant cow pasture out there and that's my riding space. I don't have an arena um, and usually I don't have anyone to video for me either. So today Jobber and I are going to demonstrate how you can set up your camera to capture a pretty effective video for your application um, without necessarily having someone around. So. You'll see there's a barrel right here behind me. It's just a five gallon pail. There's another one way out there and then there's another one behind me, probably right behind my saddle that you can't see. Um, I 
first I set up my camera here on this fence post and I walked those out to make sure that I wasn't going to ride so far away that I'd look like a tiny ant in the final product. Um, very, very helpful to do that ahead of time so you're not just wandering out in space thinking, oh, I really hope my camera can see me. Uh, so we did a little bit of trial and error, marching back and forth. Jobber's very nicely going to move so you can see that one over there. Um, and figured out, generally, this is about the flattest spot I've got, so it works pretty well. Uh, you'll see a couple times in the final video where I do leave the frame a little bit for most of the time you can see what I'm up to um, and you can see most of our ride. So a couple more tips if you're gonna do a self video. We prefer a uh, horizontal video so we can kind of see the whole action of what you're doing. Um, and this right now is this phone is sitting up on a fence post um, on a handy little cell phone holder that I made. I can't take credit for any of these tips. These are coming from my friend Kayla Zelke of Pincher Creek, Alberta, who passed along a lot of tips to me. Um, so as you can see, this is just a block of wood with four nails in it. And it's super convenient because it just sits right on top of this fence post. And then I just slide the phone between the nails and then I can go do my ride and you can see most of what I'm doing. Um, but generally, we're just looking to make sure that you are safe and competent and capable of bringing along a thoroughbred. So if you're thinking this whole time, like, I'm not a horsemanship rider, I don't have great equitation, that's okay. We're not judging your equitation. Um, you know, if your heels aren't as low as the next guys, that's totally fine. We just want to make sure that you're gonna be safe and capable on this journey to the makeover because it's a big responsibility to bring these guys along. So we just wanna make sure that everyone is set up for success.